Applying the levels of analysis framework, this short video demonstrates the concept of analysis from a meso-level perspective. Using footage from the 2010 Women's Rugby World Cup pool match between Canada and Scotland, it is possible to show how the permanent record, in this instance the full match recording, has been broken down using a coding framework. The fully controllable video is accompanied with a timeline of sequential match events. Additional information has been attributed to these events in the form of metadata providing levels of detail for further exploration through a matrix. OK, let's see how this works dynamically. OK, for example, if I want to view the Canadian team's overall possessions, I can do this easily by skipping through the video. As you can see, this allows quick and easy review of every possession. The next stage is to explore this from the matrix, allowing us to look in greater depth. So perhaps now I'd like to look at all of the possessions that have come from a turnover. I can select these five from the matrix. And again, I can easily, quick, easily and quickly review these by skipping through the video. This exploration of detail allows coaches and analysts to review performance quickly and in greater depth. Metadata, as seen in the matrix, is often extremely useful for the creation of visual feedback material for coaches and players. The data can be manipulated and presented in graphical and statistical format, providing a quantitative assessment of performance. Video is an integral part in the creation of meaningful permanent records. Often video events are aggregated together to highlight the good, the bad and the ugly in a performance. Commonly this is done in the form of presentations, where it is possible to couple video and still image annotations to reinforce areas of strengths and or highlight areas for improvement. In this example, five clips have already been added to the presentation from the matrix. Let's look at clip two in our presentation. It's easy to set the in and out points of any clip. Firstly, we need to identify where this will be. In this instance, we're looking at the pickup by the 8 at the back of the scrum. Once we have found this, we can adjust the clip like so. As the clip plays on, we're now looking for a subsequent endpoint. I think we'll stop it about here. Again, we can easily adjust the length. The next point of interest will be to add some annotations. If we stop the video here, we can add some drawings. This is easy to do. In this instance, we're looking at the running line adopted by the 13. Using some of the tools, we can highlight key areas such as this. These can then be saved to the database. The final stage is to share your presentation with players. More than often it is possible to add to the still and video annotations by including supplementary coaching notes or observations. In this example, I've added a brief note and also included the metadata that was associated with the clip. Furthermore, presentations can be shared outside of commercial packages, often on web-based sharing platforms. Here, this is a place to store and view the digital archive of performance that you have created. Performance assessment at MISO level can provide evaluation of team, units and individual performance in a single match. Hopefully you've been able to see the progression from video to the integration of a framework to enhance the level of detail that can be attributed to a permanent record. Please return to the online environment to learn more on the next level of analysis and how this can evolve through the use of permanent records.